Then you have the contradictions. And subhanAllah, I have no idea how a person does this. He says one thing, and then few pages later, he says completely something different. For example, let me give you an example. What, did Prophet ﷺ set up a political state or not? On page 2021, Mr. Fatah entitles his chapter 1 subheading as Muhammad, a head of the state or an apostle. So either he's a head of state or he's an apostle. Then he goes on to prove that he was in fact an apostle, not a head of state. He says, Muhammad Prophet was certainly, quote, certainly not sent to become a political leader, but rather was meant to be a head of religious community. In other words, Fatih wants us to accept him as an apostle. But then he forgets what he says uh, later on in the book when he says, on page 21, he says, Muhammad the visionary and statesman, even in his dying days, was carefully molding a new people. So was he a statesman or not from God? Nobody knows, except Mr. Fatih. Mr. Fatah entitles his chapter 1 subheading as Muhammad, a head of the state or an apostle. So either he's a head of state or he's an apostle. Then he goes on to prove that he was in fact an apostle, not a head of state. He says, Muhammad Prophet was certainly, quote, certainly not sent to become a political leader, but rather was meant to be a head of religious community. In other words, Fatah wants us to accept him as an apostle. But then he forgets what he says uh, later on in the book when he says, on page 21, he says, Muhammad the visionary and statesman, even in his dying days, was carefully molding a new people. So was he a statesman or not from God? Nobody knows, except Mr. Fatih.